Hi, I'm Jules Archer, I'm the sales manager for Surface Tiles and I'm uh, really excited to have been invited here today to share with the students some of my um, experience and hopefully enthusiasm for uh, tiles and natural stone. Um, I hope this is a useful session and um, yeah, let's see what the, the students think. Hi, this afternoon, I'm Jules Archer, I work for Surface Tiles. I don't know if anyone here is familiar, we're a London based um, tile company with five um, London showrooms. Um, there's two main focuses of Surface. The first is to work with interior designers on interior design led mainly residential projects. Um, and the second is to bring new materials, new trends and new technologies to the market. And um, what I'm going to uh, try to do during this presentation is really to instill in you some of my enthusiasm and, and my experience and um, share with you some of the key considerations when it comes to specifying um, tiles and other hard surfaces. So just to quickly run through the agenda, um, I'm going to start off with a little bit about the evolution of materials, um, the main tiling materials that we work with at Surface. Um, something about new technology, what's changed over the last five or ten years. Um, a bit about production, um, main things to think about when designing with tiles, and then a section on emerging trends. And it would be great if you guys have got any questions throughout the presentation, just stick your hand up or shout or ask me, um, so this becomes more of a discussion um, rather than just a straightforward um, presentation. So, the obvious place for me to start with in this is, is natural stone. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on it because it really is a whole massive subject on its own. But when you're specifying with natural stone, when I'm talking to designers about natural stone, I'm always keeping at the front of my mind this trade-off between the character of the material on the one hand and the practicality of using it on the other. And what I mean by that is, in terms of character, natural stone, in my opinion, is one of the most beautiful materials there is to... Um, to use natural stone on a project um, is, is you know, it's a great opportunity to put some really beautiful materials in there. Um, but I'm always thinking in my mind, where is this going to be used? Who's using it? So, for example, a beautiful chalky soft white limestone could be amazing in an ensuite bathroom on the walls. But if you've got four kids and two dogs and a, and a kitchen floor, you wouldn't go near it. So it's just about finding out from the client exactly what they're interested in, what, how they're going to use the space. So all natural stone is completely different. It's like wood. No two pieces are exactly the same. Bags of character. Um, it's relatively soft. Even though people think of stone as being quite a hard material, when you're looking at it in comparison to man-made materials, um, it's quite a soft material. Even something like granite is quite a soft material, relatively um, speaking, with uh, building materials. And um, it's pretty porous as well. So that means that all natural stone needs to be sealed um, to stop stains and, and things absorbing into it. It's also a bit prone to um, etching by acid and it can scratch quite easily because it's quite soft as well. So all these things to, to think, of, think about when you're um, talking to your clients about using natural stone. But it is a beautiful material, so you know, a bit like a wooden floor, a solid wood floor, an engineered wood floor, it's going to scratch and weather and wear. And if you and your clients embrace that and say, okay, this is a material, this is how it change, that's, that's fine, but it's never going to stay absolutely perfect. Um, it's also quite un unreliable in a way. I mean, you can see this is Jura limestone, it's a Turkish limestone. This is really typical of Jura limestone. You get two tiles completely different colour. So watch out when you're getting samples as well, because a sample will only, always be a small piece of a tile. It could be a small piece of that tile, and not a small piece of that tile. So it's always a good idea to see pictures and see the bigger picture and see how it actually looks. You can see this beautiful fossils and all sorts of things going on with limestone. Excuse me. Yeah. If, if it no. scratches and stains, can you um, treat it to maintain it? Can you, you can do. It and... You're kind of, uh, it's a slight uphill battle. I mean, you can do. I think the best approach is normally to say, this is stone, it's going to scratch. You know, the, for example, the Italians, you see Carrara marble everywhere, kitchen work surfaces, cafe tables, and it looks a bit weathered and a bit worn, and, and people kind of deal with that. But yes, you can repair it, so you can always take down the surface again and, and bring it up to new. Um, but, it, but it can be a quite a lot of work with some of the. Harder stones. 